Hello there. Welcome to today's Connections Reimagined session. It is on base and Guidewire Insurance Suite, customer first approach. My name is Charlie Hanna. I'm Senior Alliance Manager at Highland Software. My primary responsibility is managing the relationship between Highland Software and Guidewire. Joining me today is Jeff Heger. Hi, Charlie. Uh, Jeff Heger. I'm a senior customer advisor for the insurance vertical here at Highland. Uh, my primary responsibility is to help our, help our insurance customers get the most out of their investment. Um, always nice to talk with another insurance nerd like yourself. Uh, looking forward to the conversation. <laughs> Likewise, Jeff, and uh, we, we are certainly that. Uh, so, Jeff, I'm pretty excited. Today, we're going to talk about three unique uh, case studies between shared customers between Highland Software and Guidewire. But before we get into that, you know, 2020 has been a bit of a crazy year. And, uh, you know, maybe you could take a few minutes and, and talk about how it's impacted the industry and, and how we're doing business today. Yeah, uh, certainly 2020 has uh, brought with it a lot of change, um, both personally and professionally, and not just in the insurance space. Really, all, all industries and all businesses have been impacted by uh, the changes that this pandemic has brought, um, among other things. Um, you know, we've all kind of been forced to do things differently. Um, we shop for groceries differently, our, our children are going to school differently. And businesses have had to figure out how to uh, conduct business differently, whether that's, you know, offering a, a service through a physical, you know, brick and mortar facility or, you know, providing service to uh, their customers or agents, um, you know, where, you know, physical interactions are, are no longer uh, supported, right? Maintaining your social distancing and whatnot. And, you know, but really it kind of, it makes me think of the old adage, you know, the more things change, the more things stay the same. And, and, and really quite honestly, while the, the drivers for change for 2020 certainly are, are unique and, and different uh, than what we've seen in, in past years, um, really the, the underlying reasons why, why insurance companies go and implement changes really, in my estimation, haven't changed. Um, it's really about achieving three things. It's about being effective at what they're doing, uh, being efficient at what they're doing, and being compliant. Um, if we take a look at each one of those, you know, when we talk about being effective, um, right, uh, COVID-19, the pandemic, and, and other things have influenced uh, the insurance industry, you know, for, for decades, for, for hundreds of years, whether it's, you know, a, a natural disaster or, you know, maybe they've acquired another block of business, or maybe they've decided to go into a new market. You know, all of those things are triggers for change, but ultimately, they have to figure out how do I, how do, how do we operate effectively in this new environment? You know, with the situation and the circumstances that have been uh, presented to us, um, how do we effectively service our customers, and how do we effectively deliver the products and solutions and services that that we uh, that we are on the market with. And it's about being efficient. Um, you know, again, the drivers for, uh, for change may be different uh, this year than other years, but, but ultimately it's about being efficient. How can I operate my, my business in the most efficient manner? How can I reduce costs and manage expenses? Um, 2020 has certainly brought some challenges in terms of you know, workforces going remote and having to do things more in a more digital environment. Um, and so, you know, carriers have had to figure out how they can be efficient at, at, at doing that. And, and last but not least, it's about being compliant. That's always, you know, always a driver. Um, and so again, while, while the, the drivers for the change have, have certain, are certainly different uh, this year, um, you know, it hasn't changed the requirement for us to be compliant uh, within the industry that we are. And, and those things, I think, will always be you know, kind of the underlying reasons for why companies um, go through change uh, about being effective, about being efficient, and about being compliant is because those three things, you know, aren't, you know, aren't um, supportive of one another all the time. Um, and so it's kind of a constant battle for carriers to 
how do I achieve compliance while I'm also trying to be the most efficient and delivering the most effective service? Those things don't always work together. And, and I think that's kind of where, you know, Guidewire and Highland, you know, both kind of started our servicing of this industry. We recognize that customers are on a continuous journey to be effective and be efficient and be compliant. And, and we have solutions and software and, and, and technology that can help them achieve that. And I really think that's where the, the genesis of the relationship between Highland and Guidewire occurred. Um, it was like companies were looking for, for technology, our, our, our two solutions to, to work together and to help them achieve uh, effectiveness and efficiency and compliance. And I think that's really where our relationship kind of spawned and, and, and led us to where we are today. Jeff, that was incredibly insightful, and I, I agree with you on all accounts. And you're absolutely right. You know, the the driver for creating the accelerators that are part of um, what we have uh, in our partnership with Guidewire, they actually go back to 2015, where I think we we recognized the need to have a repeatable uh, solution in market. And and since then, being a premier partner, we have made accelerators for Policy Center, Billing Center, and Claim Center. Uh, from version six up into uh, the most recent version of 10.0.3. Wonderful uh, chance here to segue into our first case study. And uh, Jeff, maybe you can tell us a little bit about, uh, you know, Mercury Insurance. Uh, sure, yeah. Um, Mercury is a, a, a great example. Um, you know, they provide a variety of, of coverage options uh, for auto, home, condo, renters, and business insurance. Um, they're located in uh, Brea, California. They've got around 5,000 employees, and I believe they're currently running version eight of, of claims and, and claim center, policy center, and billing. And, and really the challenge that Mercury faced was it had a legacy document creation system that had kind of become their default um, content management solution or document repository. And they were using that to store about 300 million documents. Um, you know, and, and unfortunately, the, the solution that they had in place was no longer supported. Um, it lacked any real ingestion capabilities and it didn't integrate with uh, Mercury's Guidewire solutions. And so Mercury was really looking for a way to enhance how they capture and digitize a lot of their paper-based customer correspondence and, and make it instantly available to everyone who needed it from whatever application they were working in. And so, you know, they also needed to, to figure out a way to automate uh, some of the outbound correspondence they were, they were generating in order to kind of decrease the time it took to service uh, their customers and be more, be more responsive to, uh, to their customers. And so, the insurer turned up to OnBase, um, which really enabled them to you know, better capture documents and information uh, in any file type, uh, and then let the users stay in those familiar applications to quickly access it uh, from a secure central location. And integrating OnBase with their Mercury Guidewire systems, as well as Microsoft, allowed them to be more agile and responsive to, the, to their customers. Um, you know, they can look at documents in a dual screen environment, and they no longer have to search through physical repositories to try to find uh, content they needed to service their customers. And really what that kind of got Mercury was, you know, an optimized customer interaction, right? They were able to kind of reduce the time it took to satisfy customer requests. They were able to get some financial benefits from decreasing some costs associated with printing and mailing and managing uh, physical paper. And it gave them a more um, agile and integrated environment for their users to, to work in. And so it really kind of gets back to, you know, taking that customer first um, look. Uh, and that's really what drove them to their solution was how they could better serve uh, their customers. That was great insight, Jeff. And, and no doubt, you know, Mercury was probably a little bit of ahead of some of their peer carriers as far as taking that customer first approach and, and using technology to, to bring that efficiency to the mm -hmm. customer experience. Um, I think another interesting uh, story that, that sort of mirrors some of those uh, um, customer first approaches is with Mutual of Enumclaw, or as we affectionately call Mo uh, at Highland. A um, little bit different story, but maybe you can take a few minutes and tell us about uh, their journey. 
Yeah, sure. Um, Mo, as we like to call them, um, from Enumclaw, Washington. They're, they're smaller than Mercury. Um, they've got about 420 employees. Uh, they offer a range of personal and business and farm and ranch coverage. Uh, they're actually recently ranked in the top 100 companies to work for in the state of Washington. So something they can be very proud of. Um, uh, Mutual and Enumclaw had a little bit different um, starting point or different challenge. They were struggling with an aging legacy claim system. It was, it was a basic solution, really minimally configurable uh, with limited functionality. And, and similar to Mercury, um, the vendor for that system was, was soon going to be stopping support for that solution. But they were also kind of hampered by um, a lack of a formalized claims process. Um, a, a call or an email would arrive and a customer service representative would manually input information into an accord form. And, that was printed and then validated by hand and it was put in a bin and picked up by a courier and, you know, scanned and indexed again, um, sometimes without a claim number. And eventually uh, it would be emailed to a manager who was able to assign it to a adjuster, to an adjuster. And they just really recognized that they needed something better uh, in order to accomplish what they, what they wanted to accomplish from a business perspective. So kind of to uh, combat these challenges, uh, Mo invested in uh, OnBase um, as their enterprise uh, information platform, um, and from their earliest implementation, OnBase was help you know help them overcome some of the gaps in their legacy claim system and, and allowed them to achieve some benefits and some uh, some increases in productivity. Be, but even as uh, OnBase was able to do that, uh, it soon became clear that their legacy claim system. Uh, was really limiting them uh, in achieving what they wanted to achieve from a business perspective. Um, so they turned to Guidewire and they went to Guidewire Claim Center. Uh, they had experience with Guidewire previously as they had implemented uh, their billing center. And really the integration and relationship that Highland had with Guidewire really uh, helped that make a, become a really a no brainer decision for them in terms of replacing uh, that claim system. And similar to uh, Mercury from a benefits perspective, you know, the, you know, the, the ease of integration with the on-base accelerators, you know, gave them an environment where on-base and claim center could work together seamlessly. It gave them um, a complete processing environment, right? They could intelligently link, link all the uh, related information to a claim or a policy and present it to the end users in the most efficient way. Uh, and again, providing that user experience where the adjusters could get the content they needed within the context of what they were trying to accomplish within uh, their Guidewire solution. And again, it's, it really all stemmed back to being able to strengthen their focus on, on their customers and, and deliver a, an improved service. You know, Jeff, I think the, the mutual venum clause story is one that resonates with a lot of uh, particularly domestic carriers here, here in the States, you know, making that, that, transformation from the insurance we used to know to the digital way of the future and uh, great great story there so not to to focus solely on uh u.s based opportunities uh let's talk a little bit about fmg which are uh, located in new zealand now they're they're a different uh kind of story and a different kind of carrier and maybe you can share a little bit of the details of their journey as well yeah, so as you mentioned, FNG is in New Zealand, Wellington, New Zealand, um, around 625 employees or so, um, and they are New Zealand's leading rural insurer, uh, I think covering around 96,000 uh, people. So um, FMG started um, implementing Guidewire Claim Center. Um, you know, they but when they were doing that, they, they realized they kind of had a significant issue that kind of surfaced as a result of that project. And and it was really about the fact that they had somewhat of a siloed architecture uh, that resulted in you know, lots of documents being stored in a lot of different places that, that just weren't easily accessible uh, to their new claim system. And their claims consultants were depending on several manual processes for storing and retrieving those documents. Um, and the content that resided outside of their claim center included really important things, you know, application files and, you know, faxes and print streams, electronic, all the things they needed to kind of be efficient um, in doing their job. And so about five months after starting with their claim center, 
uh, project, um, they decided to uh, engage with Highland as, a, as another technology partner. Um, and through a joint implementation, um, the company went live with a, uh, a joint claim center and on-base integrated solution, I think it was in June of 2016. And, and, and what they learned um, you know, by that was that by using on-base integrated with claim center, um, again, providing that seamless um, experience to their, um, to their end users. OnBase provided instant access to the information that they needed um, to their claims consultants and right there from their guidewire, uh, from their guidewire center. Similar to the other, you know, the other examples we've talked about uh, from a benefits perspective, um, FMG, you know, cited an almost 90% reduction in the time it took to process claims overall. Uh, that spanned from retrieving and reviewing and sorting and, and finding claims documents from capturing and classifying claims photos, all of those things were made uh, much simpler and, and much uh, easier. So they were able to uh, reduce their overall claim cycle time uh, rather dramatically. And I think they estimated like it was a 230% return on investment, you know, in a little over a year and a half. So it was a, a really um, a big benefit for them once they realized they had the additional problem of document management um, to look for a joint solution with both OnBase and Guidewire. Jeff, that was, uh, that was really good. Thanks. Thanks for, uh, thanks for all of the uh, uh, sort of stories behind those, those three uh, amazing case studies. You know, I, I think we can agree that um, beyond these three examples and, and looking just at the sheer customers that we're fortunate to have, with Guidewire, they've all benefited uh, from these accelerators. And today we have over 40 shared customers, but 29 of them are utilizing the uh, Ready for Guidewire accelerators for Policy Center, Billing Center, and Claim Center. And I, I think the one common theme throughout all of these implementations is the ability to provide a, a better level of customer experience. Again, sort of focusing on that customer first attitude and approach to doing business, which is so vital, uh, so vital today. Um, Jeff, we're getting towards the end of our time here. Maybe you could take a few minutes and just share where the people viewing this session have an opportunity to get some more information and uh, maybe where they can find us here at, uh, at Connections. Sure, um, yeah, they uh, always can, they can swing by the, the virtual Highland booth uh, here at Guidewire Connections. Uh, if you're unable to um, do that. You can always go to uh, either of our websites. You can go to www.highland forward slash guidewire.com and you can get access to not only these case studies that we've highlighted, but some others, some infographics, some solution guides, uh, really any, any information you need to kind of uh, understand the relationship and the solutions we have that, uh, that leverage both on base and guidewire. You can also go to uh, guidewire.com and go to their marketplace um, and then click on the Highland logo in their marketplace and get a full list of all of the information about all the solutions that we have for all three of their centers. Um, uh, you can also reach out to your Guidewire account manager. Uh, I'm sure they would be happy to, uh, to walk you through the benefits of, of a joint, joint implementation. Um, if none of those work, you can always reach out to Charlie and I directly. Um, I believe our emails are, are there on the screen. Uh, feel free to shoot us a note. We'd be happy to respond. And if we can't provide you the answer that you're looking for, we can certainly connect you with, with someone that can. And you're absolutely right, Jeff. And, and finally, you know, feel free to stop by the Highland booth within the uh, Connections Expo. Uh, we have a lot of information there. You can see a, a demo and engage us directly. And we, we certainly look forward uh, to seeing you. Uh, thank you so much to everyone that took the time to invest in this session. We really appreciate that and uh, have a great rest of your time here at Guidewire Connections 2020. Bye.